Okay, so we've gone quite a bit. Here's where the dirt started. So it's about 10 feet to the door. There's a little solar 12 volt fans. Yes, they're solar. We're going green. Here's our opening. And then here's our second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth step down. So go ahead and step down in here. Oh, it's nice in here. And the current temperature in here is a nice 81 degrees. So for those of you that are mathematically challenged, that's a 20 degree variance from out there to in here. It's about 20 feet in. And look at those cool rocks. Wow. We are really, really making some headway. And I'm happy. And of course, I'm a complete loyalist when it comes to Milwaukee. And I had purchased this Milwaukee Hawk hammer drill from a drug addict for a hundred dollars and then I went to White Cap and bought this seven eighths inch four headed masonry bit you see that it's got the four heads so just two and I've used that to carve all around these rocks and we've been humping out this muck by hand but today I'm starting with a new tool and because I buy most of my stuff used I bought this from a guy today he wanted 500 for this jackhammer and uh, I gave him four because I'm a cheap bastard and his name was not Andre. And he said Andre was his roommate. I said, so you're selling this because your roommate gave it to you to swap for rent? He said, no, he's just getting rid of it. So I got him to write us a bill of sale. Don't ever buy any tools used without a bill of sale. The guy's name and his phone number. Because if this is stolen property, I can say I did my due diligence in protecting myself against holding stolen property or receiving stolen property. But anyways, that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to chop this, uh, chop this concrete out. As you can, I mean, this opening up. You see, I got my radius, and then I've got my rectangular doorway. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I'll let you know how it goes, or I'll show you as soon as I'm done. Well, hi. Welcome back. As you can see, the whole opening's open now. And I got all of this done in just a few hours. Wow. So that's really good news. Well, why don't you take a look inside of this mine and judge for yourself just how much work we've got done. And all with this $400 Makita jackhammer. It's a bear. It's huge. It's like it's got to be 50 pounds. It might even be 60. I don't know. But that spade does some major carving. Now I'm sure you remember, just a moment ago, it was just a rectangular door. Now the radius portion is almost complete. I've had to move my solar. As you can see, I've eliminated my exterior fan because it kept getting knocked down and look at all this scuff there's probably two tons of scuff as you can see now this is the variation of clay I've been telling you about this stuff is so hard I used to drill it wet it compact it and then come out and chip it and I could do about two square feet a day and in three hours I've broken all of this. Oh no, I broke my chair too. That is really a drag. That's my little work chair. So that's gone and you can see that I've taken all of this extra stuff.
stuff out. Now this is the uh, skylight I was telling you about. This is the first cave-in. That's where all my exhaust fumes go from my mouth. You know, the hot air goes right up there. And that's good. But look at this. I've cut all this in just a few minutes. And look at all that scuff. Let's just have a seat here. Oh! I'm in the very back of the mine. Here's my rocks. They're getting bigger and bigger. The further in I go, the larger the diameter of the stones are. And they're starting to become less dissimilar. They're staying like with that white quartz and that black, whatever it is, I hope it's silver. I'll have a geologist and a mineral mineral mineralologist test them soon. Not right now. I want to get in here a little bit deeper. But as you turn to look at the variation of the soils, you can see exactly how much scuff we've created today. This used to be all clean. This was two feet deeper here. And look at all that scuff. Huge, huge amount of soil. And now we got a reasonably round exit which I'm really excited about and then it just comes right down into this varying types of soil and we're easily I'm gonna say we're 20 feet in from the clay wall maybe only 18 feet and we're about 27 feet in from the loose sand that we originally excavated before we got to the clay wall. Now you might be noticing my painter's hat and that's because I'm a long hair and I need to keep my hair in something that was less hot than that knit cap I was wearing last year. So it's helped me a lot. I'm very excited that we're in so far. And we've had two earthquakes in this portion of California since we started and January, so January, February, March, wait a minute, yeah, January, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Eight months of digging. I can't be right. September, October. So it was February, it was after Valentine's Day, because I still had an open sore on Valentine's Day, so it was Valentine's Day like that's February 14th. So I'm gonna say the end of February, so March, April, May, June, July, August. So for 20 feet, six foot diameter, it's taken five months. Wow. That's all by hand. I just now got a real tool to dig. And I'll bet you in the next five months, I go 40 feet. So I'll go twice as much, and plus I'm getting ready to open it up. So as you can see again, we're in and we've come down quite a bit we're on a nice little angle. And pretty soon I'm going to make a nice big opening where I can, I can put a swamp cooler. It's called an evaporative cooler. And I can put a lounge chair, and then I can get a large water tank get that in here get filled up this is the little section I told you first thing I did this morning was I dug out this area where the batteries are gonna go and then I realized I had all this digging to do so I got this digging done before I put the batteries in because the batteries are just too hot the battery temperature is averaging 115 degrees which is not good it doesn't hold a charge that way so that's where we are I'm gonna go home I gotta cook dinner and take care of my honey.